In the realm of military operations, few experiences evoke a blend of exhilaration and apprehension quite like the static line jump. For U.S. paratroopers, leaping from a perfectly serviceable aircraft into the unknown abyss below is not merely a rite of passage, but a fundamental aspect of their training and operational readiness. Yet behind the facade of courage and stoicism lies a primal fear that lurks in the hearts of even the most seasoned airborne warriors. In this exploration, we delve into the depths of this fear, seeking to understand why U.S. paratroopers fear static line jumps and how they overcome it to fulfill their mission objectives. As we soar through the skies alongside these elite warriors, we witness the adrenaline-fueled moments leading up to the jump the deafening roar of the aircraft engines and the palpable tension that permeates the air. Beneath the bravado and camaraderie lies a profound sense of vulnerability as each paratrooper grapples with the fear of the unknown and the inherent risks that accompany every jump. Join us as we unravel the complexities of this fear and shed light on the inner workings of the airborne psyche. First of all, let's understand who are paratroopers. What is their role? What is static line jump? What techniques do they use when conquering an airfield? And why do U.S. paratroopers fear the static line jumps? Hey YouTube world, welcome to Navy Sea Life. Are you ready to embark on a journey that transcends the ordinary and plunges into the extraordinary? If you crave the thrill of discovery, the joy of learning, and the wonder of the unknown, you've just stumbled upon the gateway to a universe of enlightenment. So hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on this riveting adventure together. Get ready to challenge your perceptions, broaden your horizons, and most importantly, enjoy the thrill of uncovering the extraordinary in the ordinary. So stay with us till the end of the video to know these amazing facts. Let's start the video. The origins of U.S. paratroopers can be traced back to the daring experiments of military visionaries such as Brigadier General William C. Lee and Major William L. Bill Lee, who recognized the potential of airborne forces to revolutionize modern warfare. In the years leading up to World War II, these pioneering leaders championed the concept of vertical envelopment, envisioning a new breed of soldier capable of striking deep behind enemy lines with speed and precision. The path to becoming a U.S. paratrooper is one of unparalleled rigor and dedication. Prospective candidates undergo a grueling selection process, testing their physical endurance, mental fortitude, and willingness to embrace the unknown. Those who earn the coveted jump wings are imbued with a sense of pride and camaraderie, joining the ranks of an elite brotherhood bound by shared sacrifice and shared purpose. Training for U.S. paratroopers is as diverse as it is demanding encompassing a wide range of skills from airborne operations and close quarters combat to foreign languages and cultural awareness. Every aspect of their training is designed to prepare them for the rigors of modern warfare, instilling discipline, resilience, and adaptability in the face of adversity. From the deserts of Fort Benning to the jungles of Panama, U.S. paratroopers stand ready to answer the call of duty wherever and whenever it may come. A static line jump is a method of parachute deployment used primarily by military airborne units and occasionally in civilian skydiving. Static line jumps are commonly used in military airborne operations because they allow for a large number of parachutists to exit an aircraft quickly and efficiently. Additionally, static line jumps are often employed when precision landing accuracy is required, such as during airborne assault missions where troops need to land close to specific objectives. While static line jumps are effective for certain military applications, they also come with inherent risks. Malfunctions or entanglements during the deployment process can occur, leading to potential hazards for the parachutist. As a result, 
Thorough training, equipment maintenance, and safety protocols are essential components of static line jump operations to minimize risks and ensure the safety of parachutists. Now you guys understand the whole scenario, let's move toward our main topic of today. At the core of the fear surrounding static line jumps lies a primal instinct for self-preservation deeply ingrained in the human psyche. The prospect of hurtling through the air at breakneck speed, suspended by nothing but a thin nylon cord, triggers a cascade of physiological responses from elevated heart rates to increased levels of stress hormones. These instinctual reactions, honed through millennia of evolution, serve as a natural defense mechanism, signaling the imminent threat of danger and prompting the body to prepare for fight or flight. Moreover, the inherent unpredictability of static line jumps adds an additional layer of complexity to the equation. Despite meticulous planning and rigorous training, factors such as adverse weather conditions, equipment malfunctions, and unexpected obstacles can all conspire to heighten the sense of risk and uncertainty. For U.S. paratroopers who rely on split-second decisions and split-second reactions to navigate these challenges, the fear of the unknown looms large, casting a shadow over even the most routine jumps. Fear is a natural and instinctive response to the unknown, and for U.S. paratroopers preparing for a static line jump, the unknown looms large. The prospect of hurtling through the air at terminal velocity, surrounded by darkness and uncertainty, triggers a primal fear response deeply ingrained in the human psyche. The mind races with thoughts of malfunctioning equipment, missed drop zones, and the ever-present specter of injury or death. Compounding this fear is the knowledge that static line jumps offer little room for error. Unlike freefall jumps, where parachutists have the luxury of time to correct mistakes, static line jumps require split-second decision-making and flawless execution. Any deviation from protocol could spell disaster, leaving paratroopers vulnerable to injury or worse. Despite the formidable nature of their fear, U.S. paratroopers are trained to confront and conquer it through a combination of mental resilience, physical conditioning, and peer support. From the moment they step onto the drop zone to the exhilarating rush of freefall, paratroopers draw upon a wealth of coping mechanisms and strategies to mitigate their anxiety and maintain focus on the task at hand. One such strategy involves the use of visualization techniques wherein paratroopers mentally rehearse each step of the jump from exiting the aircraft to executing a controlled landing. By envisioning themselves successfully completing the jump in their minds, paratroopers can reduce the perceived threat level and bolster their confidence in their abilities. Additionally, physical preparation plays a crucial role in helping paratroopers manage their fear, with regular exercise and conditioning routines helping to build strength endurance, and resilience in the face of adversity. Despite the inherent dangers of static line jumps, U.S. paratroopers find solace in the rigorous training and preparation that precede each mission. From countless hours spent practicing parachute exits in mock aircraft to mastering emergency procedures in the event of equipment failure, every aspect of the jump is meticulously rehearsed to instill confidence and muscle memory. The bonds forged through shared hardship and adversity serve as a powerful antidote to fear as paratroopers draw strength from the camaraderie of their fellow soldiers. In the crucible of training, they learn to trust in themselves, their equipment, and their fellow paratroopers, knowing that they are part of a team capable of overcoming any obstacle. As the moment of truth approaches, and the aircraft doors swing open, U.S. paratroopers confront their fears head-on, drawing upon their training, experience, and sheer force of will to propel them into the unknown. With hearts pounding and adrenaline coursing through their veins, they take that leap of faith, trusting in their training and their equipment to carry them safely to the ground below. In the silence of the sky, as the earth rushes up to meet them, U.S. paratroopers find a sense of exhilaration and liberation unlike any other. The fear that once gripped them fades into the background, replaced by a profound sense of accomplishment and pride. 
For in that fleeting moment of free fall, they transcend their fears and embrace the boundless possibilities that await them on the ground below. Conclusion In the high-stakes world of airborne operations, the fear of static line jumps is a constant companion for U.S. paratroopers, lurking in the shadows and testing the limits of their courage and resolve. Yet it's through the crucible of fear that these elite warriors are forged, emerging stronger, more resilient, and more capable than ever before. As they leap into the unknown, propelled by a sense of duty and a commitment to their comrades, U.S. paratroopers demonstrate the indomitable spirit of the human spirit and the unwavering determination to overcome any obstacle in the pursuit of their mission objectives. As we bid farewell to the world of airborne operations, we're left with a newfound appreciation for the courage, sacrifice, and unwavering dedication of U.S. paratroopers. In the face of fear, they stand tall, embodying the ethos of the airborne creed and inspiring future generations to reach for the skies and soar to new heights of excellence. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and got lots of information. So stay connected with Navy Sea Life and we'll see you in the next video with such interesting, surprising and heartbreaking facts. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss our latest videos. Also, visit our channel for more interesting videos like this. Take care till the next video.